Well guys, in case you haven't figured out what I'm doing in this video by now, I'm flipping the front differential 180 degrees in order to make um, this thing drive forward or more specifically in order to make this cart four wheel drive. I've already done the exact same thing on the rear axle um, and the purpose of it was like I said to make it drive forward because the output shaft from this engine spins the opposite way so if I wouldn't have done this and I put it in gear it would have driven backwards so I flipped the differential upside down it makes the wheels turn forward instead of backwards so I've already done the back now I'm doing the front so that once I get a drive shaft built then this thing will be four-wheel drive so I'm removing the axle disassembling it um, removing the differential cutting off the cap um, or cutting off the differential cover, welding on a new one, then flipping the, the differential upside down, bolting it back in, and reassembling everything. And then uh, after this video, I'll have to get a drive shaft built, and then finally, this cart will be four wheel drive. So uh, now that you're caught up to speed on what exactly we're doing in this video, let's uh, keep going. So since I'm going with a new hydraulic ram set up on the front, I'm going to cut off this mount that I made for the double-ended ram. I'm going to end up going with a single-ended ram. And I'm going to have some tubing that comes around here like this. And uh, that's where the single-ended ram is going to mount. And uh, so we're going to do away with this bulky mount here that's just in the way and looks ugly. So gonna cut it off and grind the weld smooth and then we're gonna cut this cap off.
have the old cap cut off. We have the new cap cut down to size. We have the hole drilled for the plug, which goes here. So now all we need to do is tack this cap into place. And um, we need to make sure we position this fill hole in the correct spot. The ring gear sits on this side. So we need to make sure we put the fill plug on this side and towards the top. So put it on this side. Right here is about even. So we'll twist it to put it towards the top a little bit. Right there looks good. Fill plug goes there. Now we just need to weld everything in place. back in just to make sure after tacking the cap on that everything still clears so I'm spinning the gear just to make sure nothing's hitting the cap and it sounds like we're good nothing's grinding nothing's hitting so now we're good to weld everything up solid
right, so that's going to be it for this video. I got the axle all reassembled, wheels back on, but as you can see, uh, there's no tie rod holding the wheels together. Um, I'm going to rebuild that because I'm putting a new hydraulic ram on the front. It's going to be a single uh, single ended ram instead of a double ended ram. And uh, I'm going to basically rebuild the entire setup for that. So um, I'm ditching this setup and going with a single tube all the way across. And uh, I guess you just had to see how I configure the rest of it. Um, so that will be for the next video. I'll also need to build a drive shaft for the front, which I might end up building myself uh, since I'm only going to be using the front drive shaft when it's in four-wheel drive, obvi obviously. Um, not really at high speed, so if it happens to be off balance slightly, it's not going to be the end of the world. So uh, I do have access to a lathe at my dad's house, which should help get it pretty well balanced. So fingers crossed, we'll see how that goes. And as always, if you like the video, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, see you guys in the next video.